The surrounding network of channels, canals and creeks are at full capacity. Banks are breaching, causing thousands of megalitres to spill from the vein-like irrigation network and inundate farming communities. With evacuations ordered across the surrounding villages and townships, a community crisis meeting was called today, with Griffith and the MIA soon to be dubbed a natural disaster zone. We are dealing with an unknown uh, situation, the floodwaters down the Maroole Creek. This is something that we have not as a service ever, ever seen. The state emergency service is still trying to come to grips with just how much water is travelling down the Maroole Creek system. We really have no gauging stations to gauge anything. We have no rainfall uh, stations anywhere at all supplied by the Bureau of Meteorology. A 1.2 metre wall of water is making its way towards Griffith. On one side of the city, the water washes in from Wajeli, while on the other, the next threat following Yender is Bill Bangra. How destructive the floodwaters will be is anyone's guess. Water is still proceeding towards that community from Yender, but again, it is slowing. So there's some optimism there that it may not be inundated, but I cannot guarantee that at this point. There are many road closures across the region. The irrigation way between Wajeli and Yagali, the Burley Griffin way between Yender and Yagali, uh, Wells Road and the Maroole Branch Canal Road. The next 48 hours vital in the city's fight to remain dry. Dean Foscarini, Wynn News.